Yo guys, what's up? It's Teachers Game 2 coming at you with another video to help you with a little bit of a tech troubleshooting issue that I personally had when I started my channel as well. Now, the first thing a lot of people want to do is you want to create your branding watermark. If you haven't seen this yet, go ahead and check out my branding watermark video and it'll teach you how to do that and get that uploaded. However, a lot of people run into an issue right away because obviously it's never perfect. Things don't work like they're supposed to. That's just how it is. So here's how to get the workaround for that. Now, there are two easy fixes. The first being the image, according to YouTube. Now, this is one easy thing to miss has to be in the form of GIF or PNG slash PING. Now that's just like the dot at the end of it. Now all that means is it's a type of file, so you can easily change that to save as a ping or a, uh, I guess, GIF, if you want to call it that. Now it has to be one of those two things. So that's an easy fix. Uh, that's something that you literally just change on the backside. However, the one that typically is the actual issue this one is something that's a little more common. Now I'll go ahead and show you what I mean. So when you go to your image that you want to upload, I'm gonna go ahead and drag my images over here so you can see. Here's my watermark, and I'll pull it up for you. When I click on that, you'll notice it's super small. I had to actually change the size of this image. Now how do you do that? Because on YouTube, it has to be 800 pixels by 800 pixels or smaller. Now some of you are thinking, what are you talking about? Now here's the answer to that, it's really easy. If you right click on your image, you can see a bunch of options show up. Resize, this is the one you want. Now you can obviously have a zero right here. You wanna define custom dimensions. Now here's what I did. It says it needs to be smaller than 800 by 800. However, I do not want it that big because if you have an 800 by 800 image, it's taking up a huge portion of your screen. Now what I would really suggest you do, like you see right here, make it 150 by 150, and then you can save your resized image. Now I'll show you what that looks like with a larger image. For example, I'll click on my Teacher's Game 2 logo. This right here is my image. It's a lot bigger than it needs to be. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and go to resize. It's a 3.5 megapixel thing. I'm gonna go ahead and custom this. You can see it's 2560 by 1440. That ain't gonna work. So what you need to do, it needs to be a perfect square, 150 by 150, but obviously this is not working. So how do you deal with this issue? Because it's something that you need to change. Now what you're gonna have to do in order to change this, you're gonna have to crop it. Now, crop and rotate simply means that you have to make a perfect square. Now, in order to make a perfect square, obviously it's much easier said than done. You actually have to go in and make a perfect square via a website. You can literally go to any website you want and make a perfect square image. But once you actually get that done and you get the perfect square like you see here, the easy fix, go ahead and go to resize and make sure it is no bigger than 150 by 150. That's my suggestion. Technically, Google allows you to be 800 by 800. Once you've done that, go ahead and click X. You'll have your GIF slash ping is what it's saved as. Make sure you do that. Get the 150 by 150 or smaller, and everything should work fine. If it doesn't, you need to email YouTube because there's actually a bigger issue. However, this 150 by 150 and smaller, as well as the GIF slash ping, solves 99% of the complaints that YouTube gets. So all you have to do is put up the GIF or the ping and make sure it's a smaller image. Hopefully this helped you guys. I, uh, I really hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you can and I'll keep pumping out some helpful tech videos for you. All right, Teacher's Game 2.